This is Thursday morning, December 13th, following an ice storm that started Tuesday morning about, our power went out about three o'clock. The ice actually started coming down Monday evening. Uh, much of the town is still without power. Some people do have power, but very little. The sun is out for the first time this week. We anticipate that the ice is going to go away, but this video will show a little bit of the damage of the ice storm of December 13th, 2007. Here we go. We're traveling down West 6th. Been the scene of quite a bit of activity. People have been out around town getting their branches cut and pulled away. The city is going to pick up, but the branches are going to have to be out on the curb. They're going to have to be no longer than eight foot long. And it's going to be difficult to tell how long it's going to take to get the whole town done. Coming up to Opera House Hill, which the city no longer blocks off like it used to in our time. Too many liability issues if someone gets hurt and the city has blocked it off and okayed the sledding. Then yeah, that means that we allowed. know that uh, we might be liable. This was the scene of the most property damage that we've heard of, and it's all cleared up now, but Billy Repke had uh, the limbs fell on both of their vehicles. What did it do to the pickup? Caved in the top. What did it do to the car? Caved in the top. That's what trees do when they fall on vehicles. Coming up to the square. The square actually survived pretty well. They've had electricity off and on yesterday and the day before. Most notably, the pharmacy has had electricity. Off and on, do this. Oh. Last night, the west side of the community center had Christmas lights at about half blast. It wasn't very bright, but it was an interesting sight. Mark Rowe's store has been open a lot of the time. He's using a generator. Inside of the square held up pretty well. There's not too many trees broken and down in there. so probably the ice will be gone today just shortly. That's why we're out about now. Um, I'm John Schwartz. I'm the Senior Vice President at State Bank of Blue Rapids and we're coming hopefully to the end of a power outage period that really caused a little strain on us but we were here every day. Um, on Monday, December 10th, the power went out and starting Tuesday there wasn't any and for years um, we have not had anything like this. Um, the alarm system kept working because we have a battery backup, thankfully. Uh, later, it started running down a little bit and they were calling us, but we're still operational there. Uh, luckily, our vault equipment does not need electricity, so we're in great shape. The spirits are pretty high. We had a full crew every time. Let me show you our coffee maker. We brought in a coffee, come this way. We brought in a coffee maker for the first time in decades, we have hot coffee for our employees. It's on a cardboard box. As you can see, it's not real. But, um, but we wanted to provide some hot coffee for our employees, and they were very appreciative. But they went ahead and brought some hot cider in today as well. So. But it's empty, John. It's popular, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to refill that. But um, um, The next thing the employees are going to want is a microwave oven and later a lounge, but that is way down the road probably. 
we're in great shape. Everyone here is having fun. Okay. Want to be part of the Historical Society's film? Our crew is busy at work taking care of um, <laughs> items for processing. Our power is up now on Thursday, so we're back in good shape. The computers work, which they don't when your power is down. And that's really important to a bank anymore, is to be able to look up your balance for you. Have you had much business the last few days? What do you think, Kenny? Has it been down about half? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's been down 90%. <laughs> about 90% down. So, yeah, people probably sense that uh, there's not a lot going on, but they could still come in and cash a check. Georgina, you haven't suffered any. You have even had your Christmas lights on. Yeah, we've had lights most of the time. We were only out for about 12 hours. You couldn't, should be back yet. We couldn't really tell people what their balance was, but the automatic electronic deposits were still going into the account, but it was being accounted for by our processor in Hutchinson. But we were not able to look on the computer and tell them. But it was there. <laughs> Oh, no. You have no electricity. No, and probably won't for another week. Is it broken off of your house, or is it the lines coming in? Just the lines, I mm -hmm. think, coming in somewhere. And what kind of adaptations have you had to make at home? What have you done inventive to survive this? Uh, hook up a generator. Oh. And watch movies. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you? I'm Vicki Hargadine. <laughs> So a log cabin that stood for a goodly long while and it still made it through yet another storm in its life. Going south on Main. Big improvement over the days when the street was still dirt. And the United States Cavalry was parading northward up the street. Some limbs down on the mobile home over here, but we don't know that it sustained any damage. They already cleaned the limbs off. Too much activity, not too many people driving around. They're smarter than we are. Pardon? They're smarter than we are. The hackberries took a beating. A huge branch down. You want it? I could stop and talk. No, it's okay. Next time we see people out, let's we'll stop and visit briefly. Somebody's combine coming down the road. What do they know? It's probably the only thing they could get out to bring to town. It could be. Cut through the elevator lot. Well, let me go in and speak to Lyle. The hackberry trees down on South Genesee empty lot where Pogue's house used to be. There's a big one in this next block on the left. house is this, do we know?
corner of 5th and Genesee. School buses are just sitting there doing nothing because school's closed today again. Saints Church. New addition onto the Methodist Church. Looks undamaged. Yeah. I'm out here. I'm Don Osborne. I'm just out here filming some of the ice and the total mess we have. And this young lady stopped by. I wanted to know if she could take my picture. <laughs> Fair's fair. <laughs> this is probably one of the worst we've had in many, many years. Do you remember the one in 72? Oh, do I? Why? Because you were still working. Yeah. You would have been out with the phone company. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't remember it being taking quite this many limbs down. But uh, it was actually worse. It took a lot of poles down and everything, which just hasn't done that much damage there. Of course, telephone company-wise, I work for, we don't have poles anymore. Everything's underground. But, but probably area-wide, this is one of the worst. There's more coming. Really? Snow. What have you done to adapt to this problem? Oh, you just learned to live with it. Spent a couple nights in a motel in Marysville. What have you been eating? <laughs> Chili. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you have yesterday? <laughs> That's just about it. Cookies and crackers. Uh -huh. You haven't had any property damage or vehicle damage from this? No, no, no. What's the best story you've heard about anybody else during the storm? Oh, I don't know. Billy Repke had the whole top of his truck caved in by a limb. But other than that, just limbs down, a lot of a lot of TV drops and stuff are down. I, it, I still got like 27 degrees, so. This is the tree at 4th and Genesee, side of the old Latter-day Saints Church and right across from the Methodist Church with its beautiful new addition, which they're not working on today. Donald's didn't even know we had a wall jack. I forgot I'd wired in a wall jack. I told Pat that I was pretty sure you would have had a hard wire receiver so you could use the telephone. Yeah, but I didn't even know it till I got to looking around. Look at the ice on your antenna. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I need to take that down, really. I thought you didn't use it anymore. Oh, take no. a picture of the antenna. The only thing I need to use that for is to get on top of the house. Yeah. Well, you can leave the pole. And I haven't, I haven't uh, done that in a hell of a while. No, the pole and everything, I, I'd take down. We're on 3rd and Genesee. Bill Neal broke you home. The street was blocked right there for a long time. Miss Ona Marie used to be Wishman. Wow. 
This is Second and Main. They don't have a block. They Main Street is still blocked with a big tree that's been down in several days. That's a power line. That's a power line. Yeah, well, before they put that back up. lives here? I don't know. Oh, Phil Joseph in that house. That gray house. It's kind of pretty down there. There's a hotline down. Not broken, but down. I didn't get a shot of that. We're going south on what? A chestnut. No, we're on Lincoln Street. I'm sorry. Ah. I forgot where we were. This is chestnut. Cable line down. That's a power line. That was a power line we just drove over? It's a power line. Cable's the bottom. At least a half inch of ice on horizontal pieces exposed. This is East Avenue and Third Street. And that's the cemetery.